Welcome everyone to God's Daily Dose, where we come together for a daily dose of God's Word. All, most of all of you know me. My name is Billy Joe Summers, and I'm an outreach ministry leader here at Come and See Friends Church. But today I'm going to pass it to my brother in Christ. He's going to give us a message on fasting, what fasting is and what it means to fast. So I hope y'all um, take a good message away from his message today. Y'all have a blessed day. Hello, my name is Chris Brazier. I'm an upcoming leader at uh, Come and See Friends Church. And uh, I'm going to give you all a little message on fasting today. Uh, let me walk you through some of the scriptures that will help you see the connection between fasting and getting close to God. And the power he promises to those who seek him with their whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Uh, to begin, fasting is mentioned over 50 times in the scripture. So we know it's important an important topic. Jesus discusses it, his very first sermon, the Sermon on the Mount. We're going to go to uh, Matthew 6, 1. And he says, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Um, but that basically is stating is uh, you don't want to boast. You just... Uh, just between you and God. And he knows what's on your heart, so he knows exactly why you were cutting that part of the fa of what you're fasting from. Um, <clears throat> what do you think when you hear fasting? If you're like me, you're almost correlate fasting with going without food. When you hear a pastor or a leader suggest fasting, we typically think of meals. Well, I'll have to skip in order to hear from God. However, uh, I'm here to tell you the fasting is much broader than that. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Matthew 6. We're going to go 16 and 17 and 18. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. For well, they disfigure their faces that they're fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who will see it, sees it in secret will reward you. The fasting is just not always food. There's several different types of fasting. Uh, one, hold on just a minute. the regular fasting is done by abstaining from all food, both solid and liquid, except, uh, except for water. This is the type of fasting Judah's king, Josephat, Joseph, Josephat, called for when his country was conf confronted with invasion. Uh, in uh, 2 Chronicles 23, the Lord defeated their enemies, and the men of Judea blessed the Lord. And in 2 Chronicles 20, chapter 20, verse 24 through 27, after the Babylonian captivity, the people returned to Jerusalem, prayed and fasted, asking God for his protection on their journey. It's a fasting when you, it's an easy, it takes out, certain parts of your flesh so that way you can hear God and uh, he, he makes it easier to talk to when you get into the word it's not just doing without the food is if you're replacing it with God's word and his spirit and you pray um. <laughs> okay just a second uh Thank you. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to uh, Luke 4.2. This is when Jesus uh, was tempted. He said, for 40 days, being tempted by the devil, and he ate nothing during those days. And when they were ended, he was hungry. I'm going to go ahead and read chapter uh, three, to, 3 to 4 also. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. And Jesus answered him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. The 
bread alone, he's talking about physical food in that part, but the word of God is our bread, our spiritual bread. And when you get into the word, God, God fills you. There's been times I'd be reading the Bible when I was or reading the word and praying, and I realized it's been four or five hours since I've eaten anything. You just, your mind is focused on God, and that's all he wants. He wants your attention, and, and he, he'll give you everything you need. Um, so uh, another type of biblical fasting is a partial fast. Uh, that's like fasting from TV, social media, your secular music. Uh, and you do those on short period times. Um, when, like, uh, let's say I'm going to go, I'm going to go uh, all day today. I'm not going to drink a soda or I'm not going to uh, watch TV or I'm not going to uh, listen to this certain type of music that I used to listen to. And that right there is a knowledge, uh, God acknowledges that you see, that he sees that you're taking the part out of your flesh that your flesh likes. And that gives your spirit time to become strong in him. And um, so, uh, I'm forgetting something. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, and Daniel 10, uh, chapter 10, verse 2 through 3, note that Daniel's fast to express his grief on occasion only omitted choice foods and that involves relinquishing of oil and lotions for refreshment. Too many Christians follow the example and abstain from certain foods or activities for a short time looking to the strength, looking to the Lord for their comfort and strength. And that's where we come back to the absolute fast. That's uh, our full fast where there's no food or water is consumed. Uh, consumed. When uh, Esther discovered the plan for all the Jews to be killed in Persia, she and her fellow Jews fasted for food and water for three days. The human body can only do without water for a short period of time, and you need to, you have to have at least water. So uh, you just need to do that. If you're going to do a full fast, you need to do it uh, a short period of time. Your body needs certain things to sustain itself so uh, okay. the purpose of fasting is not to get God to respond as a genie in a bottle or grant our every wish fasting whether is his regular partial absolute or sexual is seeking after God's heart all other blessing, blessings and benefit being secondary to God himself this is what sets apart biblical fasting from other religious and cultural practices around the world. Uh, daily reminder, fully rely on God. Submit yourself to God. Have faith and trust in Jesus. Seek first God's kingdom, this righteous, God's kingdom, this righteousness. Read the word daily. Live it, love it, and obey it. And pray always and about everything. Thank you. <laughs>